Hey, how's it going? Happy Friday. I just uh, I just did some shopping, so I figured I would go through uh, everything that I got and just explain its uh, benefits. Because I do get some weird stuff, and I figured, you know, may as well uh, provide some uh, information if I can. So I'll start it off. I didn't, I didn't touch any of this, uh, so I'm just going to pull it out of the bag. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, fire away. Hope you guys had a good week. I'm tired. I actually just worked out. So what I, what I like to do just to unwind and calm down and get a little, uh, uh, you know, in a relaxed mood before I go to bed, I'll take uh, some 5-HTP. I use Bulletproofs um, just to relax and uh, just, just, you know, just replenish the system. And uh, it, it kind of, I think it, it, does it replace or... Uh, increase serotonin or replace dopamine. Yeah, okay, so it produces, it encourages your brain to produce more serotonin, a neurotransmitter that supports a healthy mood and sleep. So I like to take it at night. Some people take it in the morning as well. I think Joe Rogan takes like 150 milligrams in the morning. This is 100, and I'm taking uh, one, before, or one or two before I go to bed. So uh, that's what I like to do. And then also I, I like this MagTech. It's uh, magnesium 308 from uh, Natural Stacks uh, post-workout. I usually work out at night. I'm gonna start working out in the morning though. Uh, just see how I feel, see how that affects uh, my mood throughout the day and my uh, product uh, productivity with work and things like that, just to test it out. It's gonna, you know, uh, kinda interfere with my intermittent fasting, but may as well just test it out and see how I feel and see if it affects any anything uh, performance-wise so I can kinda uh, relay that to you guys because I've been telling you or I've been working out at night after work uh, you know the work day uh, for the past two or three years and I've never been a morning workout guy ever but I may as well try it out so we'll see I did it for the first time recently and I felt incredible uh, throughout the day which is not rocket science but uh, so I may start doing that but I've been such an intermittent fasting guy I didn't want to disrupt that and kind of stick with my routine but I don't know I'll try that out so here we have a Magne uh, MagTech through Natural Stacks. I'm going to do uh, one 5-HTP from Bulletproof. And then I'll show you what's in the, in the grocery bag. All right, so I like celery. So celery, for me, not only, believe it or not, it's a... It's one of the top foods for increasing testosterone. So that, ginger, asparagus, I think almonds, almond butter as well. Uh, butter, good uh, vitamin K2 based uh, animal fats like ribeyes, incredible for uh, testosterone, but also just overall health and well-being. Uh, celery acts as a diuretic. So if you're trying to cut water weight and trying to lean up a little bit, you may want to consume more foods that act in that way to remove some of that water weight and help you lean up and and uh, cut up if that's what you're trying to do. And here we have uh, aloe vera. So what I do is I shave with this. I put it in my hair. I also put the clear part in my smoothies in the morning. Um, I have an aloe vera plant. I have five out back, but I think I planted the wrong species because it doesn't... This is aloe barbadensis. And I thought I planted that, but uh, anyway, so you can get those at, at Whole Foods. They're like $1.99 each, and they're really good for reducing inflammation, um, really good for your hair, skin, um, and digestion as well. So that's aloe vera. You can get, I don't like the juice. I would stay away from the juice because they add a lot of preservatives to it, citric acid, uh, potassium sorbate, sodium benzoate I've seen in there as well. So they taint, they taint the actual uh the plant and they take away from the polysaccharides and like the nutrient density and the, uh, the richness of the plant and, and the, the healthy part of the live active enzymes. So you want to get it, ideally you would get the aloe vera plant live and if you have a backyard plant, those are amazing. They, they, they thrive through all of the, the, the weather, you know, the harsh weather, whether it's cold, uh, you know, heat, they don't need much. I, those, those plants really, um, are, are interesting to me. The ones that just grow wild anywhere. Dandelion. Dandelion is incredible for liver health. Uh, aloe vera you're seeing here just incredible for internal, uh, external um, uh, well-being as well. Uh, 
But I mean, the, the plants that survive in all different environments are really intriguing to me, and they they usually turn out to be the healthiest for you. So pay attention to those. I'm serious. I mean, you see dandelion growing wild everywhere. You see aloe pretty much everywhere as well. So here we have a grass-fed, uh, grass-finished boneless ribeye, uh, loaded with vitamin K2, a full-spectrum amino acid profile. I'm starving right now. Uh, also, obviously, the protein content, but the amino acid pro, uh, profile on that naturally from the ribeye is the most important thing for me to get post-workout, to satiate my system while I sleep, and then to keep me uh, nice and uh, you know fresh. I'm going to go on a hike tomorrow morning. I'm probably not, I don't eat breakfast, so I want to like have all that good fat and all that good uh, you know mineral de uh, density and amino acids in the system for the hike. So. Um, I'll supplement with this, so a full spectrum uh, mineral cap, the full spectrum mineral caps on top of that, just because I'm, I just left the sauna, my system is a little depleted right now, so the way, the best way for me um, to, to rehydrate and get the electrolytes back in the system, because a lot of people will understand, is when you're in the sauna, you're sweating out your good minerals as well as the toxins, so you want to, um, ideally you would uh, replenish with uh, Himalayan salt, and I like a little Pellegrino. Pellegrino is uh, the what's the mineral content in here? Oh shoot, they don't have it on the back, but they usually do on the bigger bottles. I feel uh, what do they have? I, I think it's sodium bicarbonate, silica for the as far as the part, parts per million from the natural mineral content in that mineral water. That and uh, Gerolsteiner are my two favorite things to drink. Perrier, not not so much. It's uh, it's it's just not as mineral rich. But Gerolsteiner and Pellegrino, incredible sources of good natural minerals. And then on top of that, I like to su supplement with uh, the mineral caps from uh, uh, Now Nutrition. You can get these for, I mean, they're 240 capsules in here. You can take a couple of these a day with with some of your meals just to enhance the the mineral content that you may de be depleted in, and, and that we're all depleted in as we age from like environmental pollutants and um, just, uh, you know, the aging process in its own right. But um, I would also drink, yeah, the mineral water on top of that and then try to get as many vitamins and minerals through the food that you eat as well. All right, so let me see what else we have in there. Okay, so we have uh, organic broccoli sprouts, incredibly nutrient dense. Uh, let's see. I got this organic pate de campagne. It's a pork liver pate. Now, uh, the reason why I got this is a really good fat content and the B vitamin content from the pork liver. So um, I'm gonna need to, uh, you know, to, to replenish what my B vitamins and also be satiated for my hike tomorrow. So I want to really load up on my B vitamins tonight. So I'll be good to go uh, tomorrow. And also, the, yeah, there's really good fats in here. I think they're 48. 48 grams of fat in this. So, believe it or not, fat, good fats are what we want. Um, so, I have to thank my friend Dan for getting me on garlic. I, I, uh, well, I mean, I've been eating garlic for years, but I just, I, uh, I've been kind of slacking on that for whatever reason. But I'll, I will, I'll cook with that. But on top of that, I'll also throw it in my smoothies in the morning, just to, you know, as a very good. Uh, it's like it's like nature's um, antibiotic, pretty much. I mean, it just cleans up the system, kills up any uh, you know, it kills uh, any uh, just bad uh, you know viruses or, or any type of um, you know uh, gut activity that you have going on through uh, you know bad digestion or um, yeah, just virus-wise. I mean, garlic has so many amazing uh, health benefits to it. On top of, uh, uh, on top of, um, you know, helping enhance food, but it's it's amazing for reducing inflammation and uh, cleaning up the immune system, strengthening the immune system as well as a natural antibiotic. So I'm gonna take six uh, cloves tonight. I'm gonna chew them and then uh, maybe maybe I'll cook with them as well. But and then on top of that, I have the the let's see, I really like sprouts. What we have here are the little uh, daikon radish sprouts. 
that we have the broccoli sprouts and then these are these are a little different i mean it's just something that when i eat i can feel it just eating uh, you know it's like all the way down my intestine or not intestine but just in in my uh my stomach it's like it's just eating something up kind of like burning something up so there's there's definitely some activity there with the radish sprout particularly so i i like that i like that it's a very healthy the sprouts um are uh more potent than the actual, uh, more nutrient dense than the actual vegetable themselves. Uh, I, I read that from uh, Dr. Rhonda Patrick saying, I forget the exact, uh, the reason with, uh, like for instance, broccoli sprouts, but there's some ch chemical, is it? Ah, uh, man, it's not, I forget what it is, dang it. But I'll, if I can remember it, I'll, I'll put it in the post later. So here we have uh, organic turmeric root from Jamaica. And I'll just dice this up and then throw it in my smoothie tomorrow morning just to help reduce inflammation, overall, uh, you know, immunity, uh, strengthen the immune system. I mean, God, the, the benefits for turmeric, turmeric are just uh, are endless. It's, it's, it's definitely one of my favorite things to uh, not to cook with, but just to supplement with. So I, I like the powder form. And then I also like to grate a little bit of the, the turmeric and make a little tea out of it with like, like lemon, uh, Himalayan salt, garlic. It's not the best tasting tea, but it's, uh, it's it has a purpose, obviously. And then we have a little ginger here. Same thing, I'll uh, grate that up, throw it in a tea. Um, Grass-fed butter, vitamin K2, butyric acid, really good omega fats. Same thing, got two of those. Um, Pellegrino. If I could figure out what sulfur, sulfate, is that what it is? Sulfate, I believe the sulfate, sulfur, sulfate content. Usually they have it on the back, but anyway, yeah, it's it as a really it's it's uh, high in um, a particular sulfate, which is very good for uh, detox, uh, uh, detoxifying the system. And then these little baby turnips. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dice these up, put them into a little. Oh yeah, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna make a little guacamole mash with these and with this. So you see this eye boost. This stuff is amazing. God, if you guys just took one of these out a week, it's eight ninety nine. Now it's a, do a little over a dollar a day. But I mean, in here you just have. I mean, it's called eye boost. I mean, this is the best thing for strengthening the immune system. If there's one thing you get out of this, I mean, find out where. Find out a store near you that carries this. Call them. Their, their, their company is Pickled Planet. It's called, ah, oh man, I think it's backwards. It's called iBoost. I, I wanted to send these people an email just, you know, just to give them love for an ingredient deck that is unbelievable. Read it or listen to this. So it's cabbage, uh, carrots, burdock root, horseradish, garlic, kale, nettle leaf, ginger, lemon, Himalayan salt, thyme, oregano, cayenne. I mean, that's all you need. I mean, I, so anyway, yes, I, I would definitely look these up. I'm going to put a little link to them. I love this stuff. It's amazing for you. Seriously, if you just take out a couple uh, tablespoons of these and just add it to your food, it doesn't taste, it tastes good. It tastes good. And then, so what I like to do is combine this, mash it up with a, a couple avocados, and then you make, it tastes great. It tastes great. Add a little hot sauce to it. It's like a very, very healthy guacamole. So anyway, what I'll do tonight with that, so I'll dice up some of these radishes, maybe some of these little baby turnips. Um, these are black, black radishes. So look at this. Where's my knife? Uh, there we go. This isn't ideal, but like I love these little watermelon radishes. See that? I love radishes. Period. Daikon are my favorite. I've never cooked with these black ones, black uh, radishes, but I. You know, there's something about celery, <clears throat> celery, daikon radish, just, and then here we have, ah, this is a good one. So anybody trying to lean up, uh, shed water weight. Uh, if you look at a lot of the water pills out there, so that's not, not, I've never used water pills personally. So what I like to do is I like to eat foods or drink certain things that are uh, diuretic, like say coffee. And then that, that expels the water out of your system and helps you cut weight. Um, and then I'll go into the sauna, use a little nice and they'll shed water weight. I mean, I'll drop 
not intentionally, I'm not like trying to, to drop weight, but it's just, I like to do the whole change the oil, uh, you know, approach with, uh, releasing toxins and then, um, in doing that, that's with, uh, that that's with my sauna protocol and then things like celery root. So in a lot of, uh, water pills, you'll see celery root as one of the ingredients in, uh, in the pill. And like, usually they'll combine, uh, B vitamins, and then some filler, but just buy the celery root, right? And so you can either roast this, uh, it tastes okay. It's just more for purpose. I bought this for you guys, actually. I, I, don't, I mean, just to show you, just as an example, if you're trying to cut weight and you want to cut water weight, celery root's a great way to do it. Incredible diuretic, and it's, it's uh, very common in those water pills. But those are just powdered pills that have been sitting on shelves. I mean, I think you get the best performance from... Um, you know, something like, uh, you know, that actual plant and it's not most natural form. Uh, it tastes good too. You can steam it up, you can roast it and it's good. It's good. So on top of that, what else do we have over here? Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. I saw Joe Rogan post something about, uh, he's always eating elk and, uh, jalapeno peppers. So I kind of had a little, little craving for that. Now, but there are uh, there are health benefits to the, this as well. I really believe in <clears throat> the the um, the thermogenic qualities of uh, you know the jalapeno peppers and cayenne and, and habaneros acting as like a nat like nature's little fat burner. You know, when you turn up your body's your actually you know your body heat, you're essentially burn you know you're turning up the ability to burn fat cat um, and uh, you know body fat. So. And also giving yourself a little spike uh, has like, I mean, they're, they're uh, you know, in, in addition to, uh, you know, cardiovascular benefits, like say if you're going on a little run, uh, I'll, I'll do some of this. I actually put a little cayenne pepper in my coffee in the morning. Um, sounds funny, but it tastes great. It tastes like a little Mexican hot chocolate if you add a little, I add bulletproof uh, chocolate powder to it, a little stevia and uh, cayenne pepper, maca. Tribulus. I make kind of an intense coffee, but it, it it works for me. I love it. I crave it. It tastes great too. But anyway, back to the the serrano peppers. So these little guys right here, they're organic serrano peppers from California. Uh, they're more mostly for taste right now, but they do have good benefits. Um, like I said, in acting as a thermogenic uh, fat burner. So if you're looking to do that, uh, if you're looking to kind of cut weight, if you're looking for some energy uh, pre workout or a meal. A couple hours before your workout, I would recommend dicing up either some habaneros or um, some serranos, and then uh, getting good fats in the system, getting a good amount of protein, getting really good uh, nutrient dense vegetables in your diet like beets, sweet potatoes, broccoli, daikon, radish, celery, ginger, garlic, broccoli sprouts, uh, avocado. Absolutely, I'm so glad avocados are uh, coming back in season um, because those are my go-tos and uh, they just the, the California ones taste better to me than the ones from uh, different countries so anyway guys I'm about to cook but if you have any questions uh, let me see here if you guys have any I'm, I bought one of those little stands from Amazon I'm, look at me now I'm holding it up by a, a pepper grinder because I broke it um, so I don't want to touch it and go now because it's going to get knocked over but you know what I'll do is I'm going to cook, I'm going to eat. If you guys have any questions, I'll answer them. And yeah, thanks for stopping by. Have a good weekend. See you.